So this was one of the most requested video on my channel. So if you have been following my channel recently, I posted a video where I mentioned about the fact that I will be joining Meta as a software engineer. Like throughout my career, I got opportunity to work with really great companies, including Google, Microsoft, and now Meta. Now, a lot of people were actually commenting and asking that what was the interview process like? Although Meta's interview process, you can very easily find on lead code and get the idea about it. But I wanted to share my two cents and hence I'm recording this particular video. So in this video, I'll be sharing about the fact that how was my interview experience like? Uh, what was the overall process? Uh, this knowledge is something that is already available in public domain. So if you want more deeper analysis, exact questions and all, then you can definitely try to Google uh, up things. But I'll be talking about my own experience, how it was like and how exactly I came up to the opportunity. So without any further ado, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead. So let's just start. So before moving forward in the video, I would like to talk about the new system design 2.0 cohort that we have recently launched. If you're somebody who is actually willing to apply for a lot of product based companies and you are technically confused on where to actually prepare for low level design, high level design and machine coding rounds, then you are actually at the right place. In the new system design cohort, we are going to actually include all the relevant concepts around high level design, low level design, machine coding. And this time we have kept it kind of like bigger and better. This time we have specifically added a lot of company specific interview problem sol solving both in HLD and LLD. We have added interesting concepts around distributed system like Lampot clock, vector clock, consensus algorithms and whatnot. The complete curriculum of this system design 2.0 cohort is mentioned in the link in the description section below. You can use this coupon code coming on your screen to get massive discounts altogether. There is a dedicated video on the channel where you can find all the details regarding the course syllabus. But what I can assure you is based on my experience working as a software engineer and all of the interviews that I have given, this is going to be a very comprehensive course where we are going to talk about all the relevant things that is going to be necessary, not just for you to crack software engineer interviews, but also work as a software engineer. So do check out all the links in the description section below. Uh, all the course syllabus, all the dates, everything necessary is already mentioned there. So now let's come back to the video. So uh, close to around uh, during April, I was actively applying for a couple of roles and uh, I also applied to Meta and one of the recruiters uh, from Meta actually reached out to me and uh, they proposed the opportunity that uh, there are hiring for available for software engineers and they actually like my profile and they would like to actually move ahead. In this particular call, they actually asked about a few experiences of mine and explained the overall process to me that okay uh, there is going to be a couple of rounds first of all there is going to be a dsa round which is going to be a eliminatory round if i don't do well in this particular round then we are not going to move forward if i do well then there is going to be a full interview loop in the full interview loop also there was a very straightforward process nothing very fancy um, so in the full interview loop there is going to be two DSA rounds, one system design round and one behavioral round. This was kind of like the outline of all the rounds, but the full interview only happens if and only if you do good in the eliminatory round. So that's how the interview process uh, was actually mentioned to me and actually asked me how much time I want to actually prepare. I asked for a couple of weeks because this was kind of like a very big opportunity for me. I didn't want to make sure that I am not prepared for the rounds and don't do well during the rounds. So I took a couple of weeks and then my complete, uh, I would say, interview process started. So in the eliminated round, you get a 45 minute data structures and algorithmic round. Generally, it's a general process. Maybe some things here and there might change for you. But generally, there is uh, two questions that is asked. You have to technically solve both the questions, code both the questions, give the complexity analysis of the question. Very similar, very general process as you see with other companies, let's say Microsoft, Google, they also expect kind of like a similar thing. The only difference you might see is in the time that is going to be a 45 minute round. Uh, so I believe uh, this round overall difficulty of the corresponding round was around medium and uh, most of the questions I was able to actually code, give the proper answers, give the proper time complexity analysis and I was pretty much confident that this round is going to be good and I was awaiting the feedback from the recruiter that how exactly the round went and probably in a day uh, they came back with the feedback that the round is positive and they can start the full interview loop. 
Now in the full interview loop, there were two DS round, both with same format as exactly as the elimination round. Similar formatting that you are going to get a 45 minute round. In 45 minutes, you are going to solve two DSA questions. And again, similar things that you have to make sure that you give the problem solution properly. You discuss the coding implementation. The coding implementation should be correct. You do a dry run, you do a complexity analysis, time and space complexity analysis for both the problems in 45 minutes. So these two were rounds, I would say, were slightly harder than the elimination round as expected also because in the elimination round, they just want to actually see that whether you are even eligible for the corresponding level that they're uh, actually interviewing for. And in the complete interview loop, they actually try to make sure that they grill you as much as possible and see your problem solving skills. So most of the time, these DSA rounds are to ensure that you are good with problem solving and you are able to code once you get a thought process, once you get a solution, once you understand an algorithm, are you able to code that as well or not? There was no language foundation that I had to uh, consider. Any language I am comfortable with, I was allowed to actually code in. And that's kind of like the flexibility that I really liked from Meta. And um, after both of the rounds, I was actually moved ahead with the system design round. In Meta, you actually get an option to decide on one of the tracks that whether you want to actually give for a product design round or you want to get for a infra design round. I actually opted in for a product design round. And this round was also kind of like a 45 minute round in which we had to do everything in a very structured way. There was a problem statement. You have to yourself figure out that what are the going to be the functional requirements of the system. That means what are the set of features that we will expect the users to be able to actually use in the system. Then non-functional requirement, that what should be the nature of the system in terms of the scalability, availability, reliability and whatnot. Then we were expected to kind of like propose at least a working solution uh, in terms of the design that follows everything with respect to the functional requirement. Like all the functional requirements should be technically satisfied. All the APIs that we have to technically expose, all of the details around that should be technically given. And then post that, we can try to optimize on the non-functional requirements. We can take a specific part of the system and try to go deeper into that system and try to satisfy all the non-functional requirements as well. This was something that was expected and any calculations, any estimations that is again a similar general process, this was also followed here. So this was a system design round. I would say the difficulty of the round again was on the medium hard level because of I believe the time constraint because uh, last time when I gave a 45 minute round was with Google only and in Google most of the rounds were kind of like uh, DSA rounds. There was no system design round and there was one behavioral round. So giving a system design round in 45 minutes, that was something that was new for me. I tried to make sure that I uh, prepare myself for this kind of like a time range. And uh, this round also went well, at least in my opinion, and everything worked fine. And we moved ahead with the behavioral round. So um, after all the technical rounds, this was kind of like a non-technical round where your leadership skills are actually judged, your communication skills, your, I would say, team skills, right your sportsmanship all of these things like how good you are as in a team how good you are as an engineer how good you are as a team player all of these things are judged right questions around what are your weaknesses what are some of the interesting projects that you have worked on it's kind of like a general behavioral interview where you are actually judged as an individual plus as an engineer plus as a team guy that whether you are going to be able to work in a team or not and this round also went fine similar kind of time constraints were there around 45 minutes right and i actually lead coded all the past experiences that what has been the previous set of experience with other individuals i really love the lead code discuss section they have tons and tons of articles posted by people where people actually share their interview experiences in detail a lot of course definitely thanks to the anonymous uh, feature there uh, so i was able to understand what kind of questions were there and even my recruiter mentioned a lot of uh, pointers that I have to keep in mind while giving the behavioral round and I completed this round and after the behavioral round the final um, I would say review process actually started. So the final review uh, actually came up after like six days as far as I correctly remember including the weekends. So within six days I was actually informed that I actually cleared the complete loop and they are ready to offer me a role at Meta. After that, all the regular process around team matching, offer letter release, all of those things actually happened. So this was kind of like the, I would say, interview process. And I'm really fortunate that Meta gave me uh, this opportunity. I am really excited to work with such uh, bright-minded people. I have 
heard a lot about the engineering culture at Meta, the pace at which they actually work and deliver, the amount of impact that they create, and I'm really excited to work with in this kind of like an environment. This is going to be something. A lot of things are going to be new for me, and a lot of things are going to be there for me to learn. So I'm really excited, and I'll try to document the journey as much as possible. So I hope if you are watching the video till now, so you must have uh, enjoyed the video and you must have understood what has been the process like. Uh, every time I believe, whenever you get an interview call from any particular company, I highly, highly recommend everybody to do check out the lead codes discuss section to get the latest idea on what the format is looking like, what the difficulty level is looking like, what kind of question the company is asking. It really helps you to prepare for the interview because you must know what are the things that are going to probably come uh, to you during an interview. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. If you have any doubts or any thoughts, do let me know in the comment section below. I would be really happy to answer. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.